Hey everybody, this is John Stauffer, and I'm here to bring you a tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today I want to talk about post switches. Post switches are simple changes you can make to a post processor to make it behave differently and output code differently. These changes are generally made by changing a single digit number in a table of options in your post processor. The idea of post switches goes back a very long time. By utilizing some logic in the way the code is set up, we can make a quick change to get a different output. This is definitely preferable to writing an entire new post for a particular machine and control pair. However, using post switches isn't enough to get accurate output for any controller from a single post. If the switches in your post are not what you need to get the correct output for your machine, or if you need any help with your post, or perhaps you need a new post, contact your local Mastercam reseller for assistance. Before we get into how to make a change in our post, we should get a better understanding of why you might want to make a change. If you're looking for a cosmetic change or want to otherwise change your posted code based on user-defined variables, then changing a post switch might be the way to do it. If you're looking for completely different output, like a different G or M code, or if you need the formatting changed in a more significant way, then a post switch likely isn't the direction you need to go. Talk with your local Mastercam reseller for more assistance. You might also notice some of these lines show text that reads set by MD or set by CD. These comments mean that the same setting can be handled in your machine definition or control definition respectively. If you make a change to the post, but don't change it in the machine or control definition, then the machine or control definition might overwrite the post anyways. Always look in your machine or control definitions first before making a change. Ask your local Mastercam reseller if you need help with this. Let's look at a couple of examples of post switches and changes you might want to make. Before you make changes, you always want to make a copy of your original post and back it up somewhere secure. If you end up making changes that you don't like and can't figure out how to go back to the way it was originally, you'll be happy to have a copy of your original on hand. Also, if you're making changes, keep a log of any change you make and which line number that change was on. First, let's look at this generic FANUC post. If we take a look at line 205, we'll find a line titled PROG NAME DOLLAR SIGN. This is an option to tell the post whether or not we want to force the posted code to output an all uppercase name for the program. Some machines can't read lowercase letters. So in that case, you would want to switch this to a one to force the uppercase. Another great example is line 207. This option allows you to change the way your tool table information is displayed. When this is set to a zero, then your post will strip out any comments about your tool information in the header and the body of the program. A setting of 1 will only output tool comments in the body of the program. A setting of 2 will put a table of tools in the header with no tool comments in the body of the program. And finally, a setting of 3 will put in a tool table and include comments in the body of the program. We can drastically change the look and feel of our code with just a couple of switches. Finally, let's look at this Makino post. This machine has an option to use tilted work planes. In this case, I actually want to disable that setting so I can run raw G code to the machine without any additional vector math on the controller. This is as simple as changing the value of line 72 from a 1 to a 0. In some cases, you might find that the control you're looking for isn't available in the machine definition, control definition, or post. In those cases, you should contact your local Mastercam reseller and ask about custom post options. There are a few companies out there developing high quality posts who can customize your post to do exactly what your machine needs. I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But more importantly, if you're looking for high quality Mastercam training content, head on over to streamingteacher.com.